Hey guys, Wade Willis here for Wade's Weeb Reviews, coming here for a breakdown and analysis of episode 13 of Higurashi Go. This arc was called the Curse Deceiving Arc. And to me, they really deceived us by it really being the Massacre Arc. And uh, I talked with a lot of you guys in the comments, and uh, Lambda Delta, who's always commenting on my videos, he called this the Massacre Arc Speedrun, which I have to agree with you. They really jammed a lot of that arc into five episodes. Even though it was a speed run, I feel like uh, it was missing a lot of the drama and suspense that we really felt in the original Massacre arc. So while it was shorter and you got everything you needed quickly, I didn't really feel the drama. We, and we don't know as much about the world uh, that we don't really understand the implications like we did in the original Massacre arc. But I'd love to know what you guys thought about that. Um, I feel like it's pretty mixed on this arc as a whole. And it seemed like a happy ending about halfway through. They got uh, the Sonazakis really pulled their weight. The old hag really... She even went to, I believe, the mayor to pull some strings and make sure everything happened. It looked like... Uh, Satoko like stood up for herself when uh, Child Protective Services and the police came and they took Tepe away. I had this feeling the whole time. Like I kept thinking, I was tricked a little bit in the beginning, like, and throughout this arc, like I thought Oishi was trying to like sabotage their group. Um, and then it looks like in the beginning of this episode, oh, he was actually being nice and all of that stuff. And then we find out at the very end, he massacred like everyone again. That was a shock to me, even though I was suspicious of him throughout. And I'll get into some of uh, my theories with that later on. Uh, so those of you that haven't watched the original, I don't want to spoil anything for you. Um, but I'll get into my theories later on with what I think happened with him. But the... I did like the last, like, I would say like five minutes of it where I, it was too happy of an ending and all of us who are into Higurashi in some way, shape, or form know, okay, there's no way it's going to end like this. We know, okay, there's at least 24 episodes that we're going to have of this show. I, I'm almost positive they're going to have to have a second season, but I haven't heard any confirmations about that. And I'm very unsure about, like... Anytime something happened, like when Satoko pulled him away and like overlooking uh, the place, I think that is where her parents died, if I remember correctly. Uh, but let me know if I'm wrong. Maybe that was where Rika's, one of Rika's parents died. But yeah, I thought she was going to push him over the cliff or something. They go to the house and then she's like, oh, I need to show you something of Satoshi's. I... I'm still wondering what the hell that is. And in all honesty, I am actually doing, I have not finished Ray yet. So I'm going to be doing a live reaction of Ray next week since we have a week off for this show. So yes, there's a week off of Higurashi. I'm still going to be putting Higurashi stuff out there. So you'll be able to see me do a whole reaction to the whole, uh, I think it's five episodes of Ray. So maybe we find this out in Ray. I, I don't know, but from watching uh, original Higurashi and then watching uh, Kai, I have no idea what the hell it could be. So very unsure about that. That is extremely intriguing for me. But yeah, for me as a whole, this arc uh, of the three was my least favorite. I'm sure some of you really liked it a lot, even though it was a speed run of an amazing arc. It left out most of the good stuff that I liked about that arc. It had like all the politics stuff, which I didn't care about in that arc at the time. I think that this arc is going to be extremely important though for the future. One, it looks like the next arc is named Cat Deceiving Arc, and I don't remember any arc having Cat in the name of it before, so it looks like they're going in a different direction, uh, at least to a certain extent. And two, they got this bad role, as Rika was uh, putting it. And 
they were able to come out on top. I don't want to give away what happens in uh, the end of Kai, but f from Rika's experience, it looks like things were going the way they wanted them to, and they were going to be able to come out on top. And then they really get de dealt a turd sandwich. Like almost everyone dies except for Keiichi and Reina. So that was extremely uh, alarming for like everyone involved. Like, and this really puts the ball in Rika's court. She's been doing mostly a laissez-faire approach. Once in a while, she'll kind of go in and like pull a string or two a little bit, but she has to really start using the full capabilities that she has. And one final thing, the way they shot that uh, scene with Keiichi and Tepe was absolutely amazing. Uh, I was, I knew something bad was going to happen. It was just like a horror movie and it still blew me away. And if you guys want to see how I reacted to that, I do have a live reaction video if you haven't watched that. Uh, but yeah, that was absolutely uh, insane. I did not expect him to come out of the woodwork. And now I'm going to get into kind of like my theories and predictions. So I talked about this, the importance of this arc to me is that it did put the ball into Rika's hands. Um, she like kind of uh, has been, she hasn't been doing too much. Like I said earlier, she was under the impression that if uh, Keiichi really becomes the hero that she knows he can be, everything's going to work out. Well, it didn't. And virtually everyone died this time in their friend group. So, that leads me to think someone else is interfering in some way. I know a lot of you have been saying that you think there's going to be another villain. That could be, it could still be Takano. She could have somehow like, I believe if I'm remembering correctly, if I'm wrong, let me know guys. Uh, but she could inject people. If I'm remembering correctly, I believe that she can inject someone with that induces the madness from the Hanimizawa syndrome. So she could have somehow used her like people to capture Kate, uh, to capture Oishi, inject him, and then he goes crazy and kills all those people. Maybe uh, they bought him out. I, I don't see him as that way. I think he would have to be um, like have a actually have the disease um, active for him to really be. To go through with that because his character that doesn't make sense that he would be bought out by those people he's he's about as good of a guy as you can get maybe something happens in the visual novel i'm unaware of but uh, from what i've seen in the first two seasons of the original anime i i don't see that as his character and most of the people in that core group you have like takano and then her organization that are real pieces of crap a lot of the people in the town are generally good people um and when they do bad things it's because they have uh the syndrome acting i think we might find something out about that i'm kind of unsure of what they're gonna do we never really got the old rika arc with her father and stuff um i believe that uh, i can't remember the name of that arc name but it doesn't look like that's going to be the arc they're doing are they going to implement it in some way? Possibly, but I was completely wrong. I thought they were going to go right into that arc and kind of lead up to it with the ending of this episode. But yeah, this ended way different than I expected. I personally, while I did, I, I didn't expect Oishi to be the one that went crazy for sure. We saw almost everyone in the friend group start to snap at some point. I did not expect Oishi to be the one who goes shooting people. Um, and I did not expect Tepe to be waiting there. I, I Like I said, I wasn't the biggest fan of this arc compared to the other two. And of course, compared to the original uh, anime. But I'd love to know what you guys think. Again, I assume they were going to have some crazy Satoshi thing. I was completely wrong in that. Uh, virtually all of my theories were wrong. I thought Xion was going to kill Tepe at some points. I know some of you guys thought that too. 
Um, I know some people have been talking about uh, Reyna in my comments and maybe something's going on with her. That would make kind of sense by the end of this last episode. She is the one person who survived and anytime someone's the one person that survives, it is a bit fishy. So I could see something going on with that. But based on how it ended, it's going to force Rika to change. And in one of the interviews I saw uh, with the creator, if I remember correctly, he talked about how we'll get to see uh, Rika more as a character and develop. I could be getting that wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But I believe that's what he said. So I think we're going to see a huge change on her from the this past arc to the next one because it looked like things went the way they should and it was a giant turd sandwich in the end and they're gonna have to, she's gonna have to go back to the drawing board Han Yu's gonna have to get involved because really she was kind of the x factor at the end of Kai so Han Yu's gonna have to get involved in my opinion but I'd love to know what you guys think let me know in the comments below I am going to be having a uh, live reaction of Higurashi Ray next week. I'm going to do all five episodes. I'll probably do like two in one video and three in the other. Just crank through it. And I'll probably do like a kind of an analysis video on that. See how it's possibly changed my opinion of Higurashi uh, as a whole this go season and I might be doing an, some more of a playthrough of uh, Yumaneko, but I'm not sure because I'm doing a fate uh, visual novel playthrough right now too. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get to that, but I will be doing uh, a live reaction and analysis on Ray, and I will start doing those original anime arc uh, analysis videos again. So. Those are coming back. I am going to be doing more Higurashi stuff, but I was getting a bit burnt out from the amount of Higurashi I did. I watched the first two seasons. I was watching this. Uh, I was watching Go. And then I was re-watching the original first season to do my uh, like arc videos. So it was just I was re-watching almost the same thing over and over again, and it, it was... Uh, burning me out of this amazing series. So I needed to take a little bit of a break from doing those, but I will be back. And it looks like the show is probably about to start shifting. So that'll make doing those videos more uh, pleasant for me. So, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, and I'd love to know your opinions in the comments below. And guys, uh, with the, with regard to spoilers and stuff from the original series, uh, just, like you guys have been doing, uh, put spoilers in there and hit return a few times and then let's give your theories because uh, we don't want to ruin it for people that maybe came across this video that haven't watched the original yet and things from the original may still happen. And if you guys haven't already subscribed, please do tons of Higurashi content and then other anime reactions as well. And if you like the video, leave a like. It helps a ton.